Hello, my name is Stephanie Sutton, and I am the owner of Digital Animation for Kids. I'm here at the Akron STEM School with all of my after-school students. They receive um, our lessons online, and then they complete them after school in the classroom. They're part of the Digital um, Animation Club, and they do fantastic work. They take my little tiny lessons and they bring them to life. Uh, this is one of my f this is one of my um, pictures that I just made from. N A N N G A Kids Jungle Interact, and this is this is what I made, and um, I I called it Happy Monkey because like the monkey's just like coming out of nowhere, just like having like fun, and that's usually what I always do all the time. We learn like how how to do effects and um. And we get to go to different websites to see what they do, and we get to, and we're able to draw things that we didn't know that we, that we were able to do. And they get to learn in this wonderful after-school setting, helping each other learn the different lessons, and they collaborate. After they're done creating their animations, they email them back to me. I review them. I give them electronic badges as well as suggestions. Right now, I see Jaden, and she is indeed drawing our parrot, Greg, and I love that. You know, take something that interests you and make it into a story, make it into a project. And it's really part of, I think, how animators work, how imagery works. It's certainly part of how marketing and um, PR works, you know, and how you get people to really understand a product. You take a visual. In digital animation, this month we were working on a rock and roll unit, so it's basically making drums and guitars and stuff, so if, um, this is, we were supposed to take them, put them in motion, and um, we take the guitars, like have them flip and put like different visual effects on them, so here's what my video is right now, just going to turn this up a little bit so you can hear the sounds. That's the sound we were supposed to use for the drum, because it's like a drum roll, and then random parts, I just put that flip in. And then it goes to the drum. I mean, the guitar, and it goes to the guitar there. And the guitar just flips. I love how they take just a couple of simple instructions and they build an animation, they build an image, they build audio, they build a movie, and every single one is something very singular and unique. You can give very simple directions to creative students like this and they make a masterpiece of it. It's exciting for me to give them basic directions and just let them run with it. We also did um, Ninja Turtles last month, but we, we're still working on that a little bit. So this is what I had come up with. We didn't have we didn't actually have any sound for that, so we just um, stuck with the regular Ninja Turtle stuff. So I made this for it, and he's um, staring into space, and it's actually pizza. <laughs> and then later, he's surprised, he's a star. And then, Shredder. I put that on there, that, and then, there. And then that's the end of my turtle movie. This actually kind of um, came about in the beginning of October. There was an opportunity to teach a digital, facilitate a digital animation club. And I was, I was a little nervous at first. I wasn't quite sure that I understood it myself. And as I started learning more about it, it's just become such an amazing strategy and tool to use with the, with the learners in the classroom also. We recently had um, a fifth grade problem-based learning project with Monarch Butterflies. And a number of the students that were in the digital animation class, you took what they knew about digital animation and worked with the problem that was presented to them in, and then created a digital animation format. So it was just really neat to see that, them take it from the after school club into the classroom to, as a way of learning for them. What we use is all free, it's all basic, it's already installed on computers or it's free downloads. So these are tools that are very simple. 
and we're just really making something that is uh, comprehensive and really exciting for everybody. Um, so I decided to create a scene for my movie and I kind of so I kind of shade it up, which was, Hache is basically a company that makes How It Should Have Ended videos, which, ma which makes um, movies, movie endings into very funny clips. So I decided to make one from Star Wars when uh, Han Solo was being dipped in that carbonite. And I decided to my sister plays Leia in the my sister plays Leia in the movie and just begins like that. Don't die, Han. We had such fun times together. No, we haven't. All you do is nag me and Well that's in the past now. Did you know I'm helping you in the next episode? What? Did you know that I'm bad man? No. What's the I kind of made it a little bit funny. This is what it is. And he's gone. You can add narration in it when, so like my sister was talking and she was playing a character and then I can talk playing a character. And then you make slides, digital paintings, and then you put those paintings in order of what you want. What they're learning with these basic skills can then transfer into not only great high school classes, but what they're going to learn in college. I hope all these kids go to college and they all become computer science majors. And then I hope they go out and I hope they all become entrepreneurs. And I hope they hire my children. And I hope they build the next incarnation of Microsoft. And they take these really simple goodies and they learn how to make products faster and better, how to make a new product. There has been a project designed by Downtown Akron Partnership, I think, to make a 60 second video interview. So I thought to myself, if I practiced gradually taking regular things and putting them into videos, that would be helpful for the project. I enjoy most of all the collaboration I'm seeing and the creativity. They're so creative and they help one another. I love how they help one another and work together. And I myself, when I get stuck, a number of them, can, we can call on each other and just, it's been an amazing experience for me. It's fun, it's creative, it's fun, it's high energy. And I just enjoy it. Uh, I like seeing the kids enjoy working together with each other and sharing all their wonderful projects they're creating. I enjoy it because I get to, um, just like think what I want to, want to do and just like put it right into pictures. Just like make a movie out of it, which is very fun. We take a little bit of snacking, we take a little bit of friendship and fun, and we just have this great club. 